Hello. Long time no see. Look. Look at this, all this new stuff. Wow. So sugoi. So amazing. Guten Morgen, Hype San. Hello, Hong Mao Kenneth, Joe San. New stuff! We got. We got some. I had some cat to hold up our chats. I have a new box to sit in. I am actually, my hand is drawing now. My hand is actually moving now. Yeah, so. <laughs> yes, much new very well. <laughs> yeah, so I thought about it and I realized that uh, fancy is not my aesthetic. I think Hype Sound was right. I like the box. The the box makes me feel comfy, so I'm in a box again. But a new box. And I have I have a fan art area. It's like an easel. And we have panda Kenneth's masterpiece on display here. Very nice. Thank you! It's looking really good. Thank you! The artwork hanger. Yeah, yeah! And thanks for thanks for your art so I can test this out. I have something to test it out with. <laughs> Alright. We're back with this piece. <laughs> back again. You again. I, of course, I had to go and start such a difficult piece for my first series. That now, now the series will never end. It's gonna be like Friends. It will go on forever. Let me know if anything looks funky with the layout. I'm I'm too botchy to watch my own stream back, so I could use the help. <laughs> <Haha. laughs> I'm still coughing a little bit. How how are you guys doing? Well I, I gotta read I gotta snoop on your conversation. The stream has not started yet. Oh, lots of work, oh no. When do you get time off nowadays? Oh shit, I need a tweet. It's not allowing my GIF. The media, the media you tried to post is not valid. That's rude.
I just have to change my post for now. Just do my thumbnail. Maybe I'll just leave it as the link. Yes, I made progress with the Maid Cafe Mia work. Ooh! Look forward to seeing the finished piece. I finished the characters, but I feel like I need to enhance the background further. Ah, uh, backgrounds. Yeah. Backgrounds suck. <laughs> I want to make the whole picture interesting. Ah, mm -mm -mm. I like I love drawing backgrounds, but I get it. They take a long time. Sometimes I just want to draw the character, but the back the background feels empty, and I'm like, ah, I gotta do this. We all gonna be the best of buds, forever trapped in an eternal loop of drawing the same picture. Yay! Bonding. Time off. What's that? Can I eat it? <laughs> it sounds tasty. Time free time sounds tasty. I might, I might have to cave and work on this. Maybe on a mic off stream, at least. Because there are some big changes I want to make, but it's, it's hard to do it on stream because my brain cells are busy. This, this is my free time. I have eaten up your free, free time. I was thinking maybe I want her. I want to change her pose. To This is going to look really cursed for a while. Now she just looks like she has terrible posture. Like me. I was thinking I want her to be running. Add a little bit more action to this piece. You said you still have to cough, but did it get better at least? Uh, I think overall it's better, but it's still on and off because um, I'm the type of person <laughs> when I'm not supposed to do something, I just want to do it even more. So I've been I've been eating stuff I probably shouldn't be eating, like like um fried snacks and stuff <laughs> I don't know if that's a that's a thing in Germany but in Hong Kong culture um, we have to stop eating a lot of things when we get sick such as um, fried food and cold cold drinks I know in what some Western cultures, um, they doctors will advise you 
to eat ice cream if if you get a cold. But for us is the opposite. That's quite interesting. It has something to do with Chinese medicine beliefs. And maybe it's just something that works for our body. Works for our genes, whatever. I hope everyone is still healthy. I hope nobody caught my cold through the internet. Like, like a computer virus. That'd be really sad. Interesting. As long as you're feeling better, we're happy. Yeah. A little bit better. Thanks. Did you change your... Hap Wait, are you changing your icon as you go? <laughs> I see three different pictures. <laughs> That's so funny. I didn't know you could do that. What did I do over the weekend? I did a lot of cooking. I made cabbage rolls. Which I'll, I'll share some pictures later. Just looking which mugs mugshot of me looks the least worse. Let's see. I think that's hard to choose. I really like the the warped one. I f I feel like it fits the circle really well. What do you think?
<laughs> One of my favorites, to be honest, really gets the pes pessimistic vibe over. Mm hmm. I agree. It's iconic. I think I'm liking having Monday off because um, it's a nice ease into the week. And yesterday I got a lot done. I did the... I did the new layout and this morning I did the starting soon screen all in one sitting Details in the corner. File an error until you find the rough schedule you're most comfortable with. Yes. Trial and error indeed. You guys might miss me too much. That's the problem. You guys don't have a chat room without me.
I think as an artist, I really want to work on my speed. <laughs> That might be my biggest hurdle. Maybe I'll do some speed targeted streams. Well this this morning I did something really fun. Um I, I was watching a travel vlog and then and then I thought, oh maybe I can sketch while watching this vlog. It's it's like I'm traveling and and um, sketching from life and that's a very good thing to do for an artist but of course I can't I can't be traveling everywhere all the time so I can just look up the endless the endless list of vlogs on travel vlogs on YouTube and sketch from those <laughs> it's not like I was waiting for you for hours yesterday. No! <laughs> I've son, no! You need to live your life. I was worried. I was worried you would do that, but I, but I thought... Huh, I, me I mentioned it last time in the stream that I would probably take one day off. Surely it would be fine. Little did I know. The flag of the cat next to the fan art is flashing. The flag. The flag? Mm -hmm. Let me see. <laughs> Which flag? Is it the brush? Yes. Oh, is it this? That's my brush um, window, brush settings window. <laughs> Does that mean I have to move it? See, I move it. Oops. This is what you're seeing. <laughs> I'll just leave it for today. Maybe I need to contain it somehow. Give it a background. For now, I will change it to a different menu. Does this still flash? This is fine. Would it be fun to do, to sketch from travel vlogs together on stream? It'll be like we're traveling together. Might want to do that.
It would be fun. Yeah. I'm thinking I will um, put the video I'm watching on screen as well so you guys can see but with the sound off I think that should be fine with YouTube right as long as I don't have the music in I'll cheer you guys on. I might have to finish this off stream sometime because I'm sick of it. <laughs> I think I I'll just put brush settings elsewhere. Since I do need to use it. Did you guys eat any good food this weekend? Nothing good. Oh no. I've had some tongue with chicken and mashed potatoes. I've had some tongue. I've never heard of that before. It sounds like you had a fight with them. Because <laughs> it reminds you of, um, what is it? Mother-in-law's tongue? I think that's a plant. Chicken and mashed potatoes. That sounds good. potatoes especially you've never had tongue <laughs> wait 
Wait. You mean as a food or or does it mean you've you've eaten something? I've had some tongue. Do you mean you had some literal tongue? Ox tongue? Tongue. I thought you had a tongue fight with some chicken. <laughs> exactly, ox tongue in a pan for about two to three minutes and done. Easy food. Oh, that sounds really fancy. That sounds like something you would get only at a restaurant. I don't think I've ever seen. I don't think I've seen ox tongue being sold here in supermarkets. I would like to try cooking it. make this train look good at least let's see let's see where's my reference I feel like tongue tastes like ox tongue tastes like a more intense version of beef. Like the beef flavor is extra strong. Except the texture is softer. I would have definitely told you guys about it if I had a tongue fight with some chicken. Yeah. <laughs> that is quite the- that would be quite the tale to tell. A tongue fight with some chicken and some mashed potatoes. Must have been a very sassy chicken.
I feel like I I'm in a stage where I'm too careful with my work. I want to make more more stuff and make art fast like really quick art so that I don't have to be so careful with every piece I think in mm, I, I also sometimes like the look of unfinished art like just enough is rendered for the piece to work I think in Japanese it's called tenukikan and um I feel like I really like the artist that did The Promised Neverland. I can tell they make artwork really fast, but it's still so good. And I want to be like that. Maybe I will start working towards that. I, I can tell they make it really fast because they're always uploading artwork. And their style is so distinct. You can tell you can tell they just push work out like it's nothing. I want to be like that. They weren't mashed before the fight. <laughs> From um roasted you you roasted them and then and then you mashed them in in your tongue fight you mentioned that you spent a lot of time on bigger projects in the past yes and that's all i've been doing for a long time and i want to um how do you say I want to branch out and try just not putting as much effort all the time it's good to spend a lot of time on your artwork to to realize your fullest potential but maybe, maybe it's not so good to do that for every single piece because um, because you're always stuck in a piece that takes a long time and you're not um, spending spending time playing in the sandbox <laughs> and finding other ways to do things faster so I think there's always a balance is a good thing Put more effort on the point of focus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I tend to render everything. But sometimes I'm just like, nobody's gonna be looking in this tiny corner. Maybe I don't need to spend so much time on it. I, I wanna um, learn to do 
dramatic lighting more easily and there are a few artists or like or one specific artist I really want to study and I think I will do it on stream Maybe focusing on smaller projects will widen your horizon to different art techniques or workflows. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna... I'm at the point where I wanna um, just play around more. Um, change things up so I'm not stuck in my old ways. Stuck, stuck in my habits. I'll show you guys the artist I really want to learn from. Just choose a random piece by then. What's a good example? This is a good example. Oops. <laughs> Artist is called Redem? Redem? I'm not sure how to say it. We have so many amazing pieces. It's hard to choose. <laughs> I really like this one as well. You see how it's not that rendered at all. They've just gone into the areas of interest and put detail there. The hair and everything's just washes of colors. And it's just so amazing. So delicious. I know they use a lot of photo photo bashing too, and I want to try it. The birds in the background are probably taken from the shapes that are taken from photos. Yeah, I want to do more dramatic lighting. It's so lovely. And this, how 
how they're using the background color. Like they're just adding colors on top of the background color to make, to separate light and shadow. It's kind of like um, a dry media technique where you use colored paper as your base and then you add color pastel on top and then let the paper show through underneath in the shadows or whatever I think that feeling is important for an artist there's still so much to discover. Yes, the learning never ends. That first drawing looks so gentle. It gives me vibes of Yoshitoki Oima, mangaka of To Your Eternity and Koe no Katachi. Yeah, I, I haven't seen much of Yoshitoki Oima-san. But yeah, I really like the gentle, the gentle atmosphere. I think it feels so gentle because the light and shadow, the lights and shadows are organized in a very easy to understand way. But the contrast is actually not that high at all. It's a low contrast, but expertly organized light and shadows. Yeah, I really, I really love how how they do things. You should show me pictures that remind you of this. Cause when I Google when I Google the mangaka, I don't I don't really see too much. But yeah, I wanna learn from them. Yeah, I want to treat things more like big shape. Like make the make the shapes look look beautiful. Make the the shapes of the light and shadow look beautiful. It's not it's not it's not like they're drawing the things. They're drawing the light and shadow. I really want to enter that kind of mindset. And if I succeed, I can, I can share, I can share my experience. I I struggle with I struggle with um, generalizing light and shadow because I'm not a very neat or organized person. So when I have to organize all these all these little shapes into light and shadow, it's very very overwhelming for me, and I just get get distracted by the not so important details but it's fine it's a learning learning process
That's why smaller projects might come in handy. Also, it's good you already have an idea what you want to be improving on. Yeah, at least I have that. <laughs> It's a good sign. Joseon Hongwao Derek. Just don't downplay yourself. Your work and style is amazing. Thank you. It just comes from... It just comes from a... The urge to learn. That's it. <laughs> I think I'm okay. <laughs> but I, I would be really happy to be able to... Do, do what they do. Do what they can do. Want to steal, steal their tricks and put them into my toolbox. So I, I'm greedy like that. And there's, there's, there are more things I wanna, more ideas I've been thinking of too. I think I wanna make, I think I wanna draw some stream assets, but not just any stream asset. I wanna make some Hong Kong specific assets. Dim sum? I was thinking... Cha chan tang Foods Like... Bowl of bao Pineapple bun And hong dao bing I wanna put it... Because I wanna... Have it for my own... Setup and I was thinking, I don't think I have seen many people do Hong Kong related stream assets. So I thought it might be a cool thing to do and maybe some people will be interested in using them. Yeah, if you guys have any Hong Kong asset ideas, let me know. But I definitely want to draw or a bow or something. Dim sum would be good too. And I can turn those into stickers too, like physical stickers. Be greedy. Stealing and using is the way to grow. But I bet other artists look at your art and feel the same way. I'd like to think so. <laughs> I hope so. That would be nice.
people who are earlier in the game. Hopefully, hopefully they look at my art and they're like slightly, slightly impressed by it. <laughs> That would make me happy. I'll leave that one to the pandas and the potato dog. Yes, yes. Maybe a German set sometime. Then it'll be your time to shine. I am learning a lot from Tabi Sensei too. Maybe, maybe a tiny bit. <laughs> I don't know how much. <laughs> What should we do tomorrow? Should we do the... The vlog sketching or... Learning from the masters? You don't know how much inspiration and drive I got from your streams just to create something. I want to stream, make skits, actually have some video ideas. Oh, it's great. Thanks to you, Tabi Sensei. Oh, thank you. Are you my therapist? I'm really glad. I look forward to seeing your creations then. But no pressure, no rush. Just have to let your let your passion drive you at, at that stage.
Learning from the master. Draw Ina. Okay, I'll draw Ina in Redom style. Tomorrow. What's the plan? I'll probably... Try to sketch beforehand, just, just in case. My brain doesn't work on stream. At least I have the sketch. I really want to draw her with short hair again. Yeah, I'm quite quite excited to do that tomorrow. I've seen your post on Insta as well and the support. Welcome back and well wish wishes. Honestly, it was so wholesome and made me so happy. Yeah, my my um community is so wholesome. I don't deserve them. I was supposed to post again on the weekend, but didn't have time. Maybe force yourself to finish it in one stream 
to avoid going to detail, only focus on important parts. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea. I'll even shut up so you can focus on. No. Then what's the point? <laughs> okay, I do enjoy the messages. We can we can all figure it out together. I need your help. Text the occasional box cat. We should keep talking. Tell me what to do. Just kidding. I think some steam on the on the wheels will look cool. Keep chatting to avoid Tabby drawing too much detail. <laughs> I feel like Drawing in that kind of style is like cooking. You just have to feel it out until you get just the right amount of seasoning. Not too salty, not too sweet. That's probably why I like, I prefer cooking over baking. Baking is very precise, you have to measure everything.
feel like I could I could make the title pretty interesting tomorrow. less contrasted since it's further away like this but then the head of the train will be more contrasted to show that it's coming towards you are you doing for the background of your maid artwork? I've been... I really want to draw a maid outfit too. Background is the maid cafe. That makes sense. I don't draw interiors that much. I recently noticed. That would be another thing to work on. I saw the stream where where you married Mia. Congratulations. It was raining. <laughs> I like how how it was a storm.
<laughs> I also saw her cover for Lorikami. <laughs> It's a really fun song, but just can't help but be a little bit uncomfortable while listening to it. Maybe I'll post it in Discord. Guidance? Are you sure? If you want, I welcome it. I will, I will do my best on body mass waiting for Tabby's cover <laughs> I'm gonna get cancelled <laughs> Did you guys know that it was con controversial? It's a it's a controversial song. Not only in the West but in Japan. I on I think it's just a funny song. I don't I don't think they meant any harm when they when they made it. It's only 5 p.m. It is quite astonishing how viral this inside joke got. It's an inside joke? I actually don't... don't know too much about it. I know it's from a VTuber. What else do you know about the song?
The story behind this song is actually fun. Oh, so... How was the song idea? Where did it come from? History lesson. B VTuber history. I think they were playing it on some official radio in J Japan. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Maybe the FBI catching lovely complex is the joke. <laughs> that that joke I know. Hi Ombre, you've been here. Long story, maybe I'll post the video in Discord. Yeah, good idea. A blonde guy here. Oh, yeah. I, I gotta give myself a Kanto name because I noticed some people struggle to pronounce my name. They don't know how to say it. I think I'll probably use
HP Tabby Would it be easier to use the Ta for him? This looks... I like tap as well too. Yeah, I think... I think yours looks more... Sophisticated. Thank you. Tabby is 5k years. What does that mean? 5,000 years. Ta is not pretty. <laughs> Tabe. They are. Um. This is C-tap or tap? Ah yes, the ancient tabby. Here to share, here to share her wisdom. <laughs> no, no poo poo. Tab suddenly sound cute because <laughs> Wow. For hype sound, um C Tab means toilet. We're coming up with my canton name and the word Hongmao Ken it is suggesting um can also mean toilet <laughs> or part of the word. But I think it's my best option. <laughs> yes, tower, tower. Ah, yes, love me some bathroom humor. Right. 
means tallow. I tried to set my YouTube name to show in different languages based on viewer's location, but I don't know if it's working or not. Right now I see Hong Mao Kenneth. Is this supposed to be Panda Kenneth? It's English speakers. I didn't know you could do that. That's not a premium function, is it? I didn't know.
Oh no. But if Hype San is also seeing Hong Mao Kenneth, it is probably not working. What are you seeing? Hype San. Sure, if I'm liking the face like this. Uh, so you're seeing the canto. It's okay. This weekend, I'm going to an interesting restaurant. I'm gonna get some Korean kaisaki, yori. how the girl is looking. I think she looks too cartoonish. Maybe her feet were too big. I got through the the instrument and singing part just fine, I feel like. I think it's because 
Hunter Kenneth said they use rotoscope, right? So it looks like how real people would move during a concert. It's not giving me the uncanny valley, which is good. Liking it so far. Too too relatable. We're also watching Hino's journey. sure what role he they had for Kino but one of the creators for Kino was Kuroboshi Papa which is the artist who designed Ina I didn't know at first and I was I kind of lost lost my marbles when I saw the credits. When I saw their name in the credits, I thought maybe it's someone else, but their name is so unique that I didn't think it was anyone else. But it it all made sense. It's so good it gives me goosebumps. Yes. So it reminds me of my own life so much that it gives me goosebumps. I want to talk more specifically about it, but I don't want to <laughs> give anyone spoilers. Kino? That's a name I haven't heard in a long while. Opening is fantastic. I remember the music is good. <laughs> it's funny because I used the cardboard box idea before I even watched Bochi. I always used to say my home in Hong Kong is like a cardboard box. What's the most watchy moment you've had in your life? Or, or one of the watchy things you do? Are you guys also watchy though? Or is it just me?
I'll be really honest. I feel like I literally don't have anyone I can call a friend right now. <laughs> I don't know if it's because my concept of a friend is different but I feel like I really don't have a real friend in real life right now I couldn't continue bot yet since I have not enough free time yeah that's okay It's not going anywhere, so... If anything, it's nice to watch shows at a slower, play slower pace so you can digest it. Many times the WhatsApp groups call calling out for dinner or meet up. I just ignore them forever. Well, at least you have a group. But yeah, I totally get it. I'm the kind of person where I will dread meeting up with people But then when I'm actually there, when I get there I almost always have fun But it's just the initial um, Agreeing to meet somebody That's really difficult for me How would you describe a friend in your mind? A friend... Be someone I talk to regularly Through messages or... Or see them in real life Probably the mi the bare minimum. But for my friends, I I don't even I don't even message them once a month. I feel like I can't really say I have friends And a friend would be Someone I would If something cool or bad happened to me A friend would be someone I would message and report such happenings to. I don't really have anyone like that. And and it's my own choice. That might be the worst part. Like Bocchi, I have a really hard time being perceived. <laughs> I 
am transforming to Bochi. Oh no! Are you watching too many VTubers? <laughs> Be careful. Turn back before it's too late. But I feel comfortable meeting up with me hospital friends. I have the same feeling. I have the same feeling with you guys. Like I'm doing streaming which is such a huge, a largely social thing. And I can do it, but I just I just don't want to be perceived with my original group of friends. Maybe because I got sick and I'm not doing so well right now. I feel like I can't meet their expectation or I can't be the... I can't be the tabby they remember um, in their minds, so I feel a bit anxious about that. But I'm happy, really happy you have found your circle of Hospital friend friends. I feel like sometimes it's good to to meet a new group of people who have no preconceived notion of what kind of person you are. Sometimes I find more comfort in that than meeting old friends. Because what if I'm not as fun? Or not as cool as how they remember? I really don't think it matters to my friends what I'm like right now. But it's just my own brain. I'm sure as I feel better physically, that feeling should go away. Are you comfortable with that or would you like to change that situation? Comfortable with being body? I think right now... Right now I'm okay with what I'm doing because I'm working on it in my own way, even though I'm not interacting with my old friends. At least I'm not completely withdrawing from society. I think at the moment, that's what I can manage. But... I hope, I hope I will be ready to talk to my old friends again at some point. Haha! 
Watching VTuber is a result, not a cause. Just like me. Just like me for real, for real. I've got a mountain of thoughts I'd like to share, but that's a super difficult topic to discuss during an art stream. Yeah, might might be a bit might be a bit heavy. <laughs> I'm sure they would be really happy to hear from you. Probably. Right now, I'm enjoying my little... My little... Safe space on the internet. So, Panda Derek, how, how, what made you become bocce, if you don't mind sharing? My little cardboard box, so to say. Yes. lost most of my friends because I spent too much time with my ex-girlfriends. Multiple girlfriends. I was not expecting the, the multiple girlfriends. So, did your ex-girlfriend ask you to spend a lot of time with them. I know in some serious cases, a girl will ask the guy to cut off all their friends. <laughs> exactly. And the Kenneth, like, subtle flex. And after breaking up, it's hard to meet old friends that I haven't contacted 
for a while. Kind of weird, kind of embarrassing. Hmm. Yeah. If I were to put myself in their shoes, it would feel like it would feel a little bit off. Yeah, I understand why you can't go back to your old friends. Oof, that's rough, but I'm sure it would still be possible to get back together with good friends. Or as the old saying goes, bros before hoes. <laughs> I would like to think that too, but you you would have to There would there's gonna be a lot of making up to do. Like you almost have to win them back. <laughs> the risk is too strong with those pandas. Yes. Probably because they have to risk so many waifus. That they've just become naturally riskful. Is Riz a saying in Hong Kong yet? I haven't heard it just yet. Just Derek, not me. Wait, but you have Mia now. You have risked Mia. Don't worry, I almost read that as deal. You've risked me up with your cute model and beautiful voice. Wait, who are you talking about?
<sighs> Getting there. This guy in the back looks like a zombie. Halloween's already over. Kenneth. Right, that's what I thought. But at least Panda Kenneth, you've you've learned from this experience. Never ditch your bros. And if a girl asks you to ditch your bros, maybe, maybe, just maybe, that's a red flag. <laughs> I would forget my bros for my girl. Wow. <laughs> no loyalty. Zero loyalty here. If only you have a girl. You do! When you go to meetups, uh, hospital friend friend meetups, are there any female viewers? You can you can be friends with them. Not gonna lie, it's understandable. I feel like maybe it's really tough in Hong Kong. Hype song. <laughs> Receiving culture shock. Real time. Okay. 
Yeah, how common is it for girls to ask their boyfriends to ditch their bros? I feel like it's a really unhealthy thing to do, personally. Maybe female friends would, would be more... Like I... I would be able to see the reason a bit more, but it's still still not the healthiest mindset. Cause the step one to manipulation is to isolate them. If your other half asks you to isolate yourself from your friends or family, then maybe it's a sign they want to gain more control. Guys, be careful. Okay. I think I'm done for this session. Partner putting me on the spot to ditch my friends or my family wouldn't be my partner. Exactly. Oh, ending doodle. Any suggestions, ideas? Just kidding, there are many good girlfriends or girlfriend or wife that are considered good. Hypes on your turn. Exactly. I agree. <laughs> Fly's wife is an example. Oh, so that's the fewer that's the hospital friend friend who watches Mia with his wife. Sorry. Alarm 
to remind me to feed the cats. A straw hype song. That's a good idea. Hype song. Hype song on the hype train. I'll draw that iconic Walt picture view. Actually, it looks like Bocchi. Let me look up that bocce face. Yes, you. <laughs> Watch the hype. I feel like I should draw a cuter version of it.
You wear glasses normally? Not in your iconic picture though. Hype song on the hype train. I'll leave the interpretation of my face to you then, Sensei. You're doing a Bocchi the Rock face. Got blushies, so kawaii. Kawaii. <laughs> the warped version, I would probably have to use liquefy. train people know this but Bocchi is actually based off me. You are the original Bocchi. Yay! Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Back, be back tomorrow to learn from some masters. Have a good day, evening, and night. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. Let me learn how to say that. Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen, everyone. 
Tabby out.